this place has a long history. Um, both the, I mean, even before the Americans ever came here, back in the 70s and 80s, uh, Ali base was actually the busiest military airfield in the world. And the Iraqis were flying in that here all the time. Um, it was a pretty critical base for them. So the fact that we're really about to turn it back over to them is a fairly historical thing. It's kind of cool to be a part of that process. Right over here we've got our awesome fitness track. Uh, it's basically hardball, uh, which is kind of a challenge to run on, but hey, it's a measured distance, so we'll take what we can get. Basically what this is for is, uh, all it is is a concrete tunnel, we've got sandbags on the top and on the sides, so that should there be an IDF attack, we have about 30 seconds of warning, so if you're close to one of the things, you can, these guys, you can just dump, jump inside, call it good to go. Basically what these T-walls do is they're, uh, all they are is gigantic jersey barriers, concrete jersey barriers. And when you get uh, IDF, indirect fire, when these, these rockets hit, they explode and they explode upwards. So what these T-walls do is they provide you a barrier. And as long as you're within um, an angle of the T-wall, then you're going to be fine from any blast that would be nearby. Yeah, so what I'm standing next to here is one of the bomb craters left over from the 2003 invasion. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty sizable. This is probably a uh, 500 or 1,000 pound bomb. And basically, they're all along here. If you were to just draw a straight line down this direction, you'd probably find four or five of them right in a row. This is the uh, inside of one of the neighborhoods, or the pods, as they're called. Um, and basically, these are all the chew quarters, uh, <laughs> containerized housing units. Basically, just a trailer divided up into four rooms. Kind of the basic situation. You got more or less everything you need. Beds, a little lumpy. Um, my pillow is really awkwardly shaped, but I've gotten pretty used to it by now. I don't know if I can go back to a normal pillow. Um, graduated college last May. Went on active duty the day after. Reported to my first base uh, three days after that, and here I am, almost done with my first tour in Iraq. So. It's been a hell of a ride, it really has.